I'm Anthony Edmonds, I'm a freelance photographer and I was the official photographer for British Canoeing at the London Olympics. Okay, a few tips for taking good photos. First thing, know your camera. Learn uh, where the presets are and uh, make sure you can uh, get to them quickly. So let's say we're going to take a shot of um, somebody in a canoe, somebody on the river with you. We're going to take a portrait shot. So what you want to think about with portraits is can I see the person? Are they coming towards me? It's always good to see somebody's face. And if you can, focus on the eyes because that's the most important part. That's the bit that makes the image quite often. Where's the light? If the light's behind them, well, it could be a good silhouette shot, but you want the, the light usually uh, behind you. So we have the light on the face, we can get, we're gonna get a, a great shot. One good tip on taking portraits, you often see uh, a portrait and the face is right in the middle of the picture. Try this, try putting the face to one side and then leaving the other half of the frame to give you some context. Now, of course, uh, canoeing is a great way to get close to uh, wildlife, but one tip, if you are approaching wildlife, maybe the bird feeding at the side of the river, uh, don't go head on to it because it will probably see you coming and you'll scare it off. Actually, I find if you zigzag towards it, amazingly, it will probably ignore you, you'll get much closer and you'll get some really great images. When taking photos of uh, landscapes, think about where the horizon is going to go. Uh, often, you see a horizon bang in the middle of the picture, that's not a very interesting shot, but you might want to make more of the cloud formations or on the great reflections that you're going to get from the lake. To do that, move the horizon up, use more of the reflection, move the horizon down, maybe to see more of the cloud formation, and you'll get some really great shots. All right, so the next shot to think about might be action shots. So the first thing is, if you've got a preset on your camera, then select that. If you don't have a preset, then get a nice fast shutter speed so we can get a really good shot. If you can, start focusing as soon as possible. If you can, again, uh, lock onto the head because when we take the shot, it doesn't matter if uh, other parts of the body, arms and legs are out of focus, but we really want to get that uh, head in focus. Next tip is actually taking the photo. I see a lot of people there pick up their compact camera, put it in front of them and uh, take the photo. Much better if you can to use two hands, keep a nice firm grip on the camera and as you're taking the photo, don't stab the camera because doing that will move it. Just firm but gentle uh, squeezes. And my final tip is that uh, practice makes perfect. So get out there and take lots of photos. And one challenge, and that is every time you go out, try to learn a little bit more about the camera. Maybe you're a beginner, maybe all you know about are the presets, but now maybe you want to do a little bit more, you want to advance things, start to use the aperture, the shutter, etc. Just learn one thing each time you go out and you'll find that you start to master the camera.